I mean, I've been working on this movie for four years, and now I'm excited to see what the reaction is going to be. I want to know what people feel. I want to, you know, get a sense of that. And the screenings have been going really well. You worked with Ice Cube uh, on Friday. How does yes. it feel to, you know, work with him again after 20 years? What was it like? It's full circle, man. And the chemistry is still there. It's like, you know, the reason why I think it works is because we have this creative chemistry. We did it with um, Today Was a Good Day. We did it with True to the Game. We did it with Friday. And so 20 years later, we're coming together. And I think um, this creative collaboration is, is, we did it again. You know, I say that humbly, but, you know, it's there. How do you prepare for a role like this? You know, what, what do you do to prepare for something like that? Oh, I know we all had our, our different prep. Our director, Gary Gray, put us all through our own different types of boot camps, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I had to lose weight, you know, I got to look 17. Uh, they got to <laughs> gain weight, they got to, you know, right. they got to bulk up, you right. know. Right. So yeah, we, we uh, I went through two years of auditions, you know, uh, having three different acting coaches. My man had to learn how to DJ. My, this man had to get his accent out from mm -hmm. He's from New Orleans, you know. Right. We all had our different right. prep that without it, we wouldn't have been able to give the performances that we did. Yeah. Right. Did you have to audition, audition in front of your dad? Oh, no, no. Okay. I had to audition in front of Gary Gray, okay. which, you know, is up there with... I'm damn near worse, yeah. you know, because, you know, my pops will let some shit slide. And meanwhile, Gary, very meticulous. Like know. a little baby Scorsese. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Were you nervous knowing that, you know, a Cube and Dre would watch this and see you, you know, portraying them? Well, they were there every single day. Okay. okay. So, I mean, we were nervous while yeah. they were there, you know. Right. Can't, we can't, you know, forget about that. But they, they gave us the support that we needed. And not just Cube and Dre. But like you said, Gary, um, Dub C, mm -hmm. our crew, Maddie Libatique, our, our DP. I mean, everybody came together to make this film great. Man. Um, did they give you any specific feedback while you were doing the role? Like anything that Dre Cube, you know, said to you guys? <laughs> Don't they have said, me frown all the time. Right. <laughs> and they, they always would constantly preach to us, like you know. Because it's not always easy for guys to walk up and give each other hugs, like, hey, great job today, yeah. you know, and whatever. But they let us know. If it's wrong, yeah. we will let you know. <laughs> Don't worry. We won't just sit over here and be quiet. So I guess them not saying yeah. stuff sometimes was one, wasn't always a bad thing. <laughs> it was one time on set. Dre didn't say that much. You know, he was there every day, but he would just, you know, watch. But there was, because he was, like you said, he'll tell you when you're wrong. <laughs> but um, he got up and he came up to the tables, to turntables, and he would just walked around and he looked at them. And then he started getting on them and, and spinning. The set stopped. Everybody who was working right. on the lights were like, <laughs> right, you know, like, right. and, and it was just great to just see him in his element, you know, and, and, and just to take that and run with that, you know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. those are the things you need to just pick up and go. But why is this film so important for hip-hop culture? It's important for all culture. Yeah. Our American culture is the way we live. It's about honesty. It's about, you know, the American dream. I don't want to sound cliche, but it is. Like, if you start somewhere, they started from less than zero, and they built empires, you know, and um, if you have a dream, you and, and, and also if you just sometimes take a stand and have courage, you know, you could, you could, you could take something away from this film in a lot of different ways.